Hi, my name is Anne-Marie McLean. I'm a paediatric registrar working in Belfast. Um, and together with my paediatric and academic colleagues, we did a study called the Cost and I Study. And I'm very grateful for the opportunity to share it with you today. The aims of our study were to collect information about the impact of the cost of living crisis on the home, social environment and health of primary school aged children living in Northern Ireland. We were particularly interested in identifying predictors for those children most likely to be severely affected by the cost of living crisis. And we used UNICEF deprivation screening tools to define this as children from families living with the threat of homelessness, living with damp in their home or the inability to heat their home. The methods of the study, it was a cross-sectional observational cohort study that ran for a six week period in winter 2022. Parents were invited to complete voluntary digital questionnaires, which collected quite sensitive information, including demographic and economic information, and we'd full ethical approval to do this. We contacted every primary school in Northern Ireland and invited them to share an electronic questionnaire link with parents of children attending the school. We used REDCAT software to collect and manage the study data and perform statistical analysis. The key results of the study, we had 191 parents and caregivers respond and this represented 299 children. The median age of the children was seven years old, 51% male, 49% female, 92% white ethnicity and 8% non-white ethnicity. Key findings were that 56% of families reported that their child was suffering from stress or anxiety due to the cost of living crisis. 30% reported difficulties in providing regular healthy meals for their child or children, and just over a quarter reported worrying that they might need to start using a food bank in the future because of the rising cost of food. Following multiple predictors for those children most at risk. These four Four predictors were stopping extracurricular activities, children from single parent families, children from ethnic minority families, and children in receipt of free school meals. The findings of our study are worrying. Northern Ireland already has the highest rates of child poverty in the UK, and the situation is worsening. We believe it's important that healthcare professionals working with children are aware of the wider socio economic determinants of child health. Our study found that dropping out of extracurricular activities is a predictor for children being severely impacted by poverty and this has not been identified on any other studies so we think it's important to highlight this. We believe that an integrated approach is needed to tackle the impact of the cost of living crisis on child health. We've shared our study findings widely and we've developed resources for parents who are attending the Royal Belfast Hospital for sick children, um, for families that might be struggling um, with lots of signposting to resources. Um, we've also delivered local hospital and regional teaching sessions. We've developed clinician resources to support practitioners signposting families and have recorded a podcast about the cost in eye study. We've shared the study findings with local politicians and are currently collaborating with colleagues in France and America who are doing similar work. Our study is under review for publication currently. We're really interested in um, linking up with anybody else who is interested in this um, field of work. So please contact us if you want to hear more information about our study or are interested in collaboration. And that's our email addresses there. Thank you.